Hello there, and welcome back to another video. And today I will be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing LEGO set number 75968 4 Pivot Drive from LEGO Harry Potter. Now, this set has 797 pieces, and that comes with six minifigures, and they are Vernon Dursley, Petunia Dursley, Dudley Dursley, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter and Dobby the House Elf. And let's just jump straight into it. So on the front of the box, um, you can see the house of course, um, with all the minifigures around it. And you can see Dobby hiding in the hedge there, uh, the Dursleys stood outside. Unhappy at Ron ripping the windows off Harry's bedroom. Uh, and also in the background, you can see there are some other houses. And what's really cool about that is um, they're just duplicates of this set. Um, because, of course, the Dursleys had the exact same house as everyone else on their street. And the exact same car. Uh, so that just shows that how uniform their house is. Over on the back of the box you can see more details in the set. Um, so you can see a picture of the car, the Ford Anglia. Uh, you can see that um, Vernon can chase Harry around the living room. Uh, you can see there's actually a, a flap at the side which you can open to reveal the cupboard under the stairs. Um, you can see that you can load letters into the side of the house and then turn a knob to let them all out. And then you can also see a picture of the whole house with the car flying around the top. Uh, you can also see that um, there is this pavlova um, and there is also a clear stand in it uh, to give the illusion that it's flying. And you also get two owls, Hedwig, um, with that new open wing mould, and just a generic owl. Now I am super excited to get into this, so I'm not going to wait any longer. Here's everything that came inside the box. Five individually numbered bags of Lego. An 8 by 16 olive green base plate. A 183 page instruction booklet. And of course the sticker sheet. Now I am super excited to get building, so today I am going to build this and wrap it up into a very quick speed build. So here is the completed build, build time today was about an hour and 50 minutes and let's just jump straight into it. This is Harry Potter's uncle Vernon Dursley um, and he has these tan pants um, with this really nice 
darker tan jumper with some diamond pattern printing on there. Uh, you can see his white collar above as well. Unfortunately, there's no printing around the back, um, while all of the others do feature printing around the back. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't add back printing to Vernon. Uh, and then you can see his very angry expression, um, which fits the character really well. Um, but then he does also have a smile, which uh, you very rarely see. Um, and then you also have this really nice light grey um, hairpiece, and it just makes him a really nice minifigure. This is Harry's aunt, Petunia Dursley. Um, and she has these dark red pants um, and then this really nice floral shirt um, which um, is screen accurate, you can actually see that in the movie um, and that's around the back as well, that's really nice um, and then she has this very stern looking face um, and then a more shocked scared expression around the back um, and then she has this nice hair with um, all that detail around the bottom for the shaping um, of the strands of hair clumped together and that's another great minifigure. This is Dudley Dursley um, and first of all since it's based off the first two films uh, he does have these shorter non-bendable legs um, in dark tan uh, and then this really nice red and black diamond jumper. Uh, and you can actually see some printing to uh, kind of hint at the fact that, um, well, he's overweight. Um, and then you can also see his collar, which is actually metallic, so that's really nice. Uh, again, the same printing around the back. Um, he has this really nice mean smile. Um, and then he does have an alternate expression uh, and that's uh, more of a scared expression although again you very rarely see that um, his hair um, is just a generic brown hair piece that's very common um, although unfortunately uh, around the back you can see some of his alternate expression uh, just one of the wrinkles um, and you can actually see that on the front as well. Uh, so that's a bit of a shame, but I wouldn't really say it ruins the minifigure. Next up is Dobby the house elf. Um, now, he has these tan legs, but if you look really closely, you can actually see that they are dual moulded, which is quite uncommon for um, smaller legs. Uh, so that's really nice to see. Uh, and then of course you can see the pillowcase that he's wearing. Um, with all the dirt marks on it. Uh, that looks really cool. And the creases. Uh, and you can see it tied around his shoulder there. Um, of course for that reason there's no printing on his arms. Um, and then he has this nice smile. Uh, which is actually different from the one that was released in the first series of Lego Harry Potter minifigures so that does make this an exclusive minifigure uh, and then and his head is actually made out of quite a squishy plastic like I can bend his ears uh, and his nose sorry Dobby um, of course uh, it's not got, he's not got any hair uh, but you can actually, uh, I can use this as another opportunity to show you that his head is bendy. Uh, and that is another really nice minifigure. This is Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Um, and he has these plain black small legs. Um, and then this nice um, checkered shirt over a dark blue, dark bluish grey t-shirt. Uh, again, the printing is continued around the back. Uh, he does have a pointable wand. Um, and he has that smile. Uh, and if you look really closely, there is a scar on his head. 
um, and then a scared expression around the back again with the scar and then he's got this really messy um, hair and up until this set was released this was an exclusive minifigure because you can also get this in the Whomping Willow and the same goes for the Ron Weasley minifigure. This Ron Weasley minifigure. Uh, so this is Ronald Billius Weasley. Uh, he has these dark brown um, legs and a dark tan striped jumper with some creases, uh, with some baggy creases uh, because of course it will be a Weasley hand-me-down. Uh, and then he has a red t-shirt on underneath. Uh, a continuation of the print around the back which is really nice. Um, he does again have one of these new pointable ones. I say new, they were released in 2018 so they're not that new anymore. Uh, and then he has this young smile um, and then a scared expression again around the back um, which you see quite commonly on Ron. Uh, and then he also has this um, ginger hair uh, which waves at the side to allow for his ears. This is the Privet Drive street sign um, and it's just on a 2x4 um, green base plate. Uh, it does feature a sticker for the Privet Drive um, name um, which is held up by two of these pieces which have actually been put into 2x2 two by two, two, two by two jumper plates um, and then there is also an owl perched on top just like in the film um, which is just on one of um, these snot bricks and uh, just attached to the back here is the Pavlova made by Aunt Petunia um, and it does actually look um, quite a lot like it's flying at the moment um, but in fact it is just on some clear pieces uh, with a round one at the bottom to give it some stability um, and the actual Pavlova um, looks like a really nice build um, it has all the different colours. Uh, it's obviously quite a lot. Uh, it's obviously simplified from the one in the film. Um, but I do th still think it captures um, the Pavlova well. And now, finally, onto the house. This looks really good. It really captures the essence of um, the real house. Uh, with this neatly trimmed garden in the front. Um, the door, of course most of the time it wouldn't have all these letters sticking out. Uh, the drain pipes, the gutters, this roof is really nice construction. Um, the one thing it's missing is um, the garage, although if they were to include a garage it would be much bigger um, and then they would probably also have to include the Dursley's car. Um, and that would really bump up the price. So I'm happy with it like this. Um, so in the garden, um, you can see this really nice um, bush um, with quite a lot of leaves. Um, and that's quite a nice build. Uh, and you can also see a few flowers. Um, and that's about it for the garden. There is, of course, the door, which can be opened. Um, and then there is a light and a round tile with a round sticker um, showing, that it's showing that it is number four. Uh, these, there's these nice drain pipes which are clipped on. Um, and, of course, if you're having drain pipes, you also need gutters. Uh, which they have included in these grey tiles uh, up here as well. Um, and it's it's really nice that there's um, drain pipes going all the way down. Uh, and then up near the top there's a couple of chimneys. There's this one here. Uh, I'll just zoom in on it a bit. There's that one there. Uh, and then the main one there with a TV aerial. 
around the side of the house, um, you can see, well, you can start to see the interior of the house. Uh, you can also see some odd looking things, like there's this grey um, piece here, but it's not too noticeable. Um, but the other very noticeable thing is this, um, this barred up window, and I will come back to that in a bit. There's nothing noteworthy on the other side at first glance um, until I open this up and you can see uh, the cupboard under the stairs. Now this is very small, um, in fact so small that you can only just fit Harry inside, uh, but once he's in there you can close the door. Um, there's a brush and a shovel here uh, and also a very simple bed consisting of a couple of tiles um, and a cheese slope on the ground and also although it's very hard to see you can see some of Harry's toys um, that he played with before he knew he was a wizard now the interior of the house is also really nice um, so downstairs here you can see the door um, with some with another sticker showing the letterbox um, nailed shut with a plank of wood um, which explains the letters sticking out around the front uh, you can also see some purple furniture with this purple sofa which isn't very easy to take out in fact if I do try to take it out it comes out in pieces um, but it does offer a better view of this chair at the back uh, and I think that this chair is a really clever construction uh, because it all looks like one piece um, but I can lift this up and that stays right there uh, because that is actually attached to the wall of the house itself. Also in here you can see this nice rug and also this blue carpet uh, and also in the corner you can see a nice lamp. There is also a fireplace um, with a family portrait on top. Now most of you who have been watching will have noticed this gear here um, and of course you can turn it uh, and as you could hear something happened when you turn it it lowers a platform inside the fireplace releasing some letters the actual letters themselves are just these one by two white printed tiles you get three of them anyway and the letters just get loaded in through this slot around the back uh, and you can fit all three in uh, and then of course you just turn this and they all come flying out moving upstairs um, you can see the spare bedroom uh, which was given to Harry uh, out of the kindness of the Dursley's hearts uh, and there are some nice details in here as well uh, so starting over here I'm just gonna get the thing that kind of annoys me out of the way um, because if you look here you can see uh, some black and light grey and that's actually from the roof around the front um, but now that we've got our, that out of the way we can move on to the things I like about it so moving further uh, along uh, you can see there's this stool although since Harry has these non-bendable legs he can't sit down so he just has to stand on it um, it's just made out of a few pieces and in total is one is the equivalent of one brick high 
Um, also on the table there is this nice um, stickered piece um, showing a picture of Lily and James Potter and, and what I like about this is they used minifigures um, although um, they did release a printed piece of the same picture um, a couple of months later in the CMF series um, but I assume they didn't use that because they wanted them both to be exclusive. Um, there is also some posters up here with the Hogwarts crest and the Gryffindor banner. Um, and then moving even further along you can see this really nice bed. Just next to the bed is this bedside table which is actually just above the fire. It's actually just... Um, the bit that was sticking out from the fire because you that's actually where you post the letters in um, and on this bedside table is if I can get it off um, is this printed piece um, of the Daily Prophet they're running an exclusive of Harry Potter the boy who lived um, although this print is by no means um, an exclusive print because it has been included in quite a few other sets uh, and I have a few more of them here so um, I have a lot of newspapers to go around now this is Arthur Weasley's Ford Anglia which has been enchanted to fly um, now it as you can see um, this is very similar to the one released in 2018 with the Whomping Willow um, but there are a few differences like this um, hood or bonnet is different um, and also this is different because um, in the 2018 version it was all bricks whereas this has a sticker uh, and also the boot or the trunk is different um, but um, there are some features that are the same on both um, but I'm just going to review the whole car starting at the front so along the front of the car it has this really nice shaping uh, with the arch over the grill, or I, or I assume that's the grill, uh, and then there's also a stickered number plate which reads 7990TD. Uh, and I've had a look and I couldn't find anything um, of importance that that could be um, hinting towards. Uh, but if you know of anything it might mean, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and then around the side, uh, you can see it really has the right look. Uh, I'll just put my hand behind so you can see the windows. Um, you can see that it has that angled look. Um, and I also really like the wheel arches, how they are how they are done in um, different ways. And I especially like this first one because if I lift this up and this up and this up you can actually see that um, these at the front are just resting in and um, it's a few pieces and it just slots in upside down in fact because as you can see there's no studs there to hold it in place uh, and it just slots in and then the other pieces hold it in place there is also an openable door um, on both sides uh, and on that door you can see that there's some printing to continue that white line although unfortunately it wasn't strong enough and you can see the blue through it. Back here at this angled bit um, you can see that it's not actually all pieces because this whole angled bit is on a window. Around the back you can see the trunk or the boot as we call it here in the UK uh, and it can actually be opened and inside 
you'll find a chain which is perfect for pulling out windows. The back is also um, where it's best to take off the roof because there is actually a section that you can fit your finger underneath at the back and then it just pops off quite easily uh, to reveal the interior which isn't that great uh, there's no seats in it or anything there's just a single steering wheel but uh, that's what it's like for most Lego cars so there's not really any difference um, and also uh, the, they wouldn't put any seats in because once again Harry and Ron don't have bendable legs uh, but you can't really fit them in there side by side this was the best I could manage which to be honest isn't too bad um, although when it's like this you can't actually get the roof down properly because Harry's hair's in the way and if you try and push it down it knocks them to the side um, or the other thing you could do is just have them completely one behind the other and then you'll have no problem getting the roof off but it won't look as good I said I'd come back to the bars on the window so that is exactly what I'm doing if you get your Ford Anglia uh, and you just get the chain you can attach it to one of the bars and then just pull it away and the window will come right with it and in the film the other thing that comes out of the window is Vernon. All in all I think this is a great set and um, it's got a great lineup of minifigures and um, of course four of them are exclusive which is really good uh, normally it would be one or two of them and um, the Ford Anglia is a nice solid build it's great that they did at least make it a bit different from the 2018 uh, one the actual house of course is really cool with all the features with the uh, cupboard under the stairs and the letters and this window uh, and also this roof uh, how they did that is really clever um, and also just the mini builds as well like the um, street sign the pavlova it all wraps up to make one great set thanks for watching and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.